just as a quick overview, um, for several years now, Python has had syntax for type annotations, where you can annotate variables and um, uh, in functions, and more recently on classes and local variables. And, uh, and there are a variety of type checkers that are used with this. Um, this can help you catch a lot of bugs at sort of before running the code. Uh, here, we complain that we're calling a method eggs on a string, which doesn't exist. And perhaps uh, more useful in a lot of cases, um, we can catch errors like passing none when you expected to actually have something, which is an advantage we have over type systems like Java's, for example. Um, there are a lot of different type checkers. Um, MyPy, which is has some people at Dropbox working at it, and uh, general community, PyType out of Google, PyR out of Facebook, PyWrite out of Microsoft, and PyAnalyze out of Quora. Um, I'd recommend MyPy, but then again, I would. Uh, I think it, in general, has more community upkeep and is less focused on sort of just one company, though also it has plenty of its own problems. Um, but the main thrust of this talk is just talking about what the developments in uh, in typing have been sort of in the last year or two in Python 3.9 and 3.10 uh, and in recent MyPies. Um, so one of the big ones is uh, what we call modular TypeShed. And if you're not familiar, TypeShed is a collection of type annotations for lots of different Python libraries. Uh, historically, it had the standard library and a few important third-party libraries and would be bundled with MyPy itself. Um, this had a bunch of downsides, like that it was tied to the MyPy release cycle. Um, but we've moved to a model with mo called modular TypeShed, where each third-party library that has stubs in TypeShed uh, for what their types are can be installed separately through PyPI. Um, this is inspired by the TypeScript's world, definitely typed. Uh, it maintains a lot of the advantages of having a big monolithic uh, repository of types, which is that you don't need each project to sort of manage it themselves because they might not care about typing, and you can sort of have one throat to choke about it. Um, but it allows sort of each uh, library to be versioned independently. It means that type checkers can be released separately from the stub changes and everything's sort of lower risk. Uh, so that's been a big improvement. Um, one thing, another thing is uh, PEP 585, which adds type hinting to standard collections. Previously, you needed to import everything from a typing module and write your lists and dicts with these uppercase lists and dicts, but now you can just write uh, regular lowercase dict and stir and have the types there, which is great. Um, another nice thing is for union types, you can now just write them with an or. Uh, so you can write foo or baz instead of having to type out union foo baz with something you imported from typing. Uh, you can also write, instead of optional stir, you could write stir or none. Uh, I hate that. I think that's, I think that's just so ugly. But, uh, but that's fine. Not everyone needs to agree with me. Um, there's, I, I, think, I think that or is fine. I think or none is just, it, it hurts my soul, uh, even though it's true. Um, PEP 612 is a, is a PEP out of the Pyre crew at Facebook that allows you to do much better typing for decorators. Historically, uh, MyPy has been able to type decorators that don't change the type of the function, but sometimes you have something that adds a argument or two or changes the return type, and there's now a system for uh, specifying that kind of type, which is really nice, uh, except MyPy doesn't implement it. Um, so hopefully we'll do that soon. Um, and then there's another nice feature that came out of the PyWrite crew at Microsoft, um, which is MyPy and other type checkers have always let you sort of refine what the notion of a type is in a function by checking like if X is instance of something and then you know that it's that type, or if X is none, then you know it's none in that branch and not none in the other. Uh, but if you had a more complicated thing like wanting to check if all objects in a list were a string, for example, there's no way to do that. Um, and type guards add a sort of user specifiable way to say like, uh, if this function gets called and it returns true, then we know that its argument was this type. Um, and this is in some sense really unsound because there's no way for the type checker to check that like it's true, that we're right about it. Uh, but assuming you write the function right, it can be very convenient. All right, so that was a, a lightning overview of what's happened in most of what's happened in the typing world in the last year or two. If you have any other questions about it, I'll be around. Um, thank you very much. <laughs>